What is Gucci, everybody? Welcome to another Swift tutorial. In this video, I just did spent like 45 minutes researching how to make HTTP requests in Swift, aka how to get data from the internet, how to get images from the internet, how to get text from the internet, whatever you want. In this video, we're gonna go over how to get images from the, the internet, which is something really beneficial. As you can see here from the code I have in the very beginning, I have an image view, which I just set to width of 200, height of 200, set the background to an orange color, and I added it to the sub view. Always key to add it to the sub view or else you will not see it. It's not added to the canvas. Okay, so again, like I said in this video, we're gonna be going over how to get data from the internet. And how you do this is with a lot of APIs, which is Apple's classes for dealing with um, internet data handling. The first thing we're going to do, and I'm going to copy this, is we need to decide upon a picture to download from the internet. I chose a picture of the Transformer, the Transformer Bumblebee from the very bad movie trilogy Transformers. And so if you go on this Wikipedia link, link you will see you will get a picture, and I'll post all the code below. You can have you can put any image here as long as it ends with .png .jpg. It must be just that image. So the page this takes you to is just that image. There's nothing else. It's not like text and a full website with that picture somewhere thrown in. It must be like the link is just the image because it will download everything at that link and it'll be confused if it gets other things. Okay, so then we're going to create a NS URL object and that's used to represent the actual URL that we're visiting and we give it a string of S right there. And now we have our URL, so we know where we're going to visit. We also need to create a session, an NS URL session. And this is Apple's way of handling the internet, or Apple's very generic way. And if I command click on NS URL session, I get a lot of text and a lot of very helpful information. I highly suggest reading this. It gives a lot of things, a lot of info to understand it. And what an NSL URL session is, it's a replacement of older APIs, but what it does is it allows you to make URL requests. And this can be many different things. This can be for images, data, like I said before. Some And also, if you noticed, I also called nsurl session dot shared, shared session. Sorry for my speech. And what that does is that gets you Apple's default nsl URL session. For any commonalities of just downloading basic things, this will probably be what you want to do is just get their basic session, which then you can use um, how they handle cookies and other requests that you may not be too familiar with. So it's pretty easy. So now that you have a session, you are able to now kind of uh, coerce with the internet, communicate with it. And using this, we can actually create a task to download something. So we can tell the session to download a task with URL. So I'm going to use this very long method, download task with URL. So now <laughs> it does what it does. It's going to download the URL. So I have to pass in the URL, which is why we created it uh, up top. And then I have to run this completion handler. So there's a lot of code here. And I'm going to quickly keep this up so then I can pass it. So what I need to do is I need to create a block with all these parameters, so then I can use them within my block. So when this task uh, downloads, after when it's on completion, it will execute my block and I will get all the data I've downloaded and then tell my task how to handle all this data that you downloaded. In this case, we're gonna put it, to the, put it into the image view and show it to the user. So to do that, we also we need to specify what the block is getting passed in. So it's getting passed in a URL, which is going to be an NS URL. And then we need a response. I'm just going to call it RES, and it's going to be an NS URL response. I put all the parameters right below, as you can see. And then we need uh, an error, which we won't be handling errors in this video. So I'm just going to do an E for an NS error, and then we're going to have in, which is the keyword you need in blocks after you list the parameters. And I'm going to get rid of this now. Okay. 
and I believe for NSURL, I need to make it, I need to put an exclamation mark to force unwrap it to make sure it's not an optional. So what I'm gonna do here now is I'm going to use the NSURL, which has now been downloaded for me, and make it into a, da a data object. So I'm gonna say let D equal NS data, and I'm gonna do contents of URL, and I'm gonna pass in the URL. So once download task with URL downloads its URL, <laughs> it then yields it to me so I can look at it. And I need to make this URL an optional as I do down below. And then what I can do is I can create an image from this data as my URL image constructor lets me do. It lets me take NS data as its constructor so I can pass in D, which is the photo I downloaded. And then I also need to force unwrap that and give an exclamation mark. And then after that, it gets a little bit complicated. But what I need to do here is I need to set my image view image. I need to set my image view image to equal image. Pretty easy. But before I can do that, I actually can't just run this code yet. There's two more things I need to do. The one thing I need to do here is I need to notice that just this line is updating the UI of my view. It's actually changing the image. It's changing the image view from blank to have an image. And whenever I update the view or update the GUI, how it looks, I need to do that on the main thread. I can only make UI updates on the main thread. I can do HTTP requests or data requests in the background on another thread. If you don't know how to do that, that's okay. But now what I'm going to show you is how to make sure you always use the main thread for updating the UI. And you do that by doing GIS dispatch async, and then I can do dispatch git main queue. So I'm going to say get the main queue, which is the main thread, and then I'm going to pass it a block. And so I'm going to say, after you've downloaded this image, make an image, which you can all do on another thread, but then when go to for the main thread, set change the image to the downloaded image. Okay. And now there's one more thing you need to do. If I run this code, nothing will happen. And that is because when I create a download task with URL, it doesn't automatically run it. It just sets it up for me. It doesn't, I need to tell it to resume its state because when I create it, it's automatically in a suspended state. It's not running. So you can do this pretty easily. You just call task, whatever you name the variable, and you can do resume, resumes the task, okay? So that's about it. We can try running the code. All the code will be in the description below. Just look for the link. And right now I have a blank screen. The app is loading up. And it may take some time to download. Something I will note quickly before we look at our finished product is that when you do download task with URL, it is actually downloading the file to your phone or to your computer, depending on what you're running it on, inside this block. Sorry, this block the whole session download with task. But once that block exit ex exits, there we go. All that code, oh sorry, that all that files you downloaded are deleted from your computer or phone. You can choose to save it, but you have to choose it to save it within this block. Just some future information. And you can read all about this if you just control click, command click, NSURL section and read up on the documentation. There you go. I downloaded it and have some, I have a weird photo. It took a little while and that is something kind of weird is that you don't know how long information can take to download over the internet. It's up to the internet gods or how good your connection is. So there can be a lot of error handling instances, but that's the basic gist guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm trying to be a better speaker. Have a great day. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click right here to see more videos about basic high school, college, computer science concepts. Click down here if you want to see my latest videos on app development, iOS, Mac, and Swift. Have a great day!